In this video, we'll take a look at Mosaic Designer 2's Network tab and some of the features contained within. To get to the Network tab, you select the last tab at the bottom of the tab list on the left. This tab is used to associate project controllers in the Mosaic Designer 2 software to physical controllers in the real world, and then to configure those controllers. At the top, you'll see any virtual controller or project controller that's been added to your show file. And then underneath, you'll see all of the ones that is detected on the network. To add a new controller, you can come up to the New Controller option at the top, select the type of controller you want to associate, how many universes it has, and then if it detects it on the network, directly associate it to a serial number. If you want to make modifications to an existing controller in your project, you can select it, come over to the Controller Properties tab on the right-hand side, select its type and universes if applicable, and detect and associate a serial number. Notice I've now associated my controller 1 and my controller 2 to an actual serial number. There are no more remaining controllers on the network, and all of my controllers have now been associated. Coming into our other options here, if we are working with a Tessera touchscreen, we have the option to select its interface, its brightness information, inactivity and off timeouts, whether or not it adjusts brightness for ambient light, and whether or not it has a proximity detection to wake up the screen. Underneath that, you have options for playback refresh rate. The last option at the bottom is for triggers. If you select this option, the Mosaic controller will detect when it starts up, what time it currently is, and play any time-based triggers that should have occurred between the time you specify here and the current time. If we go to our interface tabs, we have options on the Tessera to configure the TPC Rio, to set our Ethernet inputs used for triggering. If we're integrating with a Paradigm control processor, we can set the IP address of that processor, and if we're using a DMX input. If we select our MSC, we'll notice we get some other options. Things like setting the inputs, the serial port, and the MIDI. The different controllers in the Mosaic family will all give you slightly different options on the interface tab. If we go to the protocol tab, we have our option for our secondary network, on the MSCX product, this is a physical network. On every other product, it's a virtual one. And you can choose if you want to use a different IP address for output than for configuration. When you're working with an MSC1, you have the option to use port 2 on that controller as a DMX proxy for a Tessera touch panel. Underneath that are some options for ARTNET and eDMX pass-through options. For more information on both of these, please see the help files. Looking across the top over here, we also have the option to add a new remote device. This is going to function very similar to how we assign a controller. However, this is only going to work with our network-based remote devices, such as our RIO, contact closure input and output devices, our button station, and our analog and dolly RIOs. Once you select which one you'd like to add, you have the option to give it a number and associate it back to a physical Mosaic controller. Once you add this to your project, there will also be configuration options for that particular remote device based off of what device type it is. If we select one of our controllers that has been associated, we also get the option to configure. We'll talk about the settings inside here in another video. Beacon, reload its firmware, access it through a web interface, or upload and download our project. If the text on any of these controllers is either red or grayed out, it will require some additional consideration. Gray means that designer can detect it, but is not in the correct IP range. Red means designer can see it, but the controller is running incompatible firmware.